Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, uh, that includes networking, whether it's wired or wireless, security, voice over IP, storage, a lot of things, reach out at willyhow.com, click hire us or the contact us form, fill that information out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. I get this question a lot, and so I'm going to touch on it a little bit, and then I think I'm going to do a more in-depth um, if everybody's interested, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to do a more in-depth uh, comparison of these access points. But the question is, what access points do we use and when? So our three go-tos right now. Now, this is access points, not routers, because some of the other things you see us use are access points slash router, and we can, you know, we do some network augmentation. So Synology won't necessarily be mentioned in this list, but I wanted to make sure that you know that's because we primarily use that as a router. We do use the mesh points too, but that's not uh, one of our go-tos there. But the router is super powerful. But this is access points only. So our three go-tos for access points. And I'm going to start <coughs> with like the most general, right? So if we've got uh, an install and it is um, just a vanilla kind of install, an office, and the customer is really invested in Unify, we will go ahead and we will uh, deploy Unify access points. If the customer already has the switches and they're not interested in looking at something else, we will do this. Now, what don't we do with Ubiquity? We don't put Ubiquity in challenging environments and uh, we don't put Ubiquity anywhere where we're gonna use voice over IP right now. So, but for a lot of general uh, things, uh, some high density stuff slightly, um, this, Ubiquity stuff works and it's decent, right? So there's Ubiquity. So then the next access point that we use is the Grandstream series. And this is the GWN 7664. And I'm going to do a video on this uh, here in just the next couple days, I promise. And 2.5 gig PoE port back there. But where do we use Grandstream? So we use Grandstream in that general office environment if people need some Wi Fi outside, but especially when we are uh, going to do voice over IP over Wi-Fi, we always and only recommend Grandstream for that. And the other thing is um, when people are having problems with their Ubiquity stuff and they're looking for other manufacturers, Grandstream is then our go-to. They're just so solid. And, and I'll show you a, a, a couple comments uh, by people when I do the video about how well these really work. Then our third go-to is for challenging environments, uh, super large installations, we go with Cambium. There's a couple reasons we go with Cambium. One, uh, they have RF engineers on staff, right? So we can call them, the customer can call them and say, we've got this challenging Wi-Fi environment, what do we use? And Cambium will uh, sometimes even fly an engineer on site. So I've been cut out of a couple big deals, really big deals, like six figure deals. And I'm not even mad because the customer is getting what they need, what they wanted, right? So uh, Cambium is where is our go-to for uh, RV parks now, uh, campgrounds, challenging environments, um, some of the, the more um, high dense environments. Good stuff. And all of their indoor APs, let's talk about warranty. Indoor APs with um, with Cambium have a five-year warranty. The uh, Grandstream uh, access points all have at least a three-year warranty now. Uh, that's indoor and outdoor. The outdoor on the Cambium, I, I don't know if they extended it to five or if that's three. You'd have to look that up. And then Ubiquity, depending on where you buy it, if you buy it from a distributor, you get one year. If you buy it from Ubiquity Direct, you get two years. So um, with with the, the Ubiquity stuff, the Unify stuff, we are your support, basically. I mean, they have the free support, but we support a lot of people. Ubiquity does the best they can with the support. Um, and then a lot of us vendors, we pick up the slack there. Uh, Grandstream, if you are a partner, you get priority support. They will support end users, but you have to be a partner to get priority support. Or then you also use us. So, uh, but uh, Grandstream does have, uh, you know, an official system for that. Cambium, 
And guess what? You can pick up the phone and call Cambium and get live people on the other side. The thing with Cambium is they don't do a great job at marketing. Their products are awesome. They've got a great price point, but they, they're not quite there with uh, the marketing piece of it yet. If they can ever get you know, the ubiquity and, and grand stream marketing down, this stuff's going to fly off the shelf. So uh, I'm sure you've got questions. I'm sure this probably peaked questions. So let me know down in the comments what you want to know about each of these brands, and I will see if I can answer it. Like I said, the grand stream GWN video will be coming. So uh, let me know. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a Patreon a patron on Patreon or using our clearly marked affiliate links, those are down below. And if you need that IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Once again, I'm Willie. Let's have a conversation about access points. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.